it's Mrs. Carney from Logan Elementary. Today I have some helpers with me, my son Nolan, my son Brody, and my daughter Kendall, so you'll see them in the video. Today we're talking about adding S as a suffix. Last time when we added S as a suffix, it was to talk about more than one thing, such as pens. Today when we add our S, we're going to be talking about adding it to an action word, so that it means that you're doing it in the present. Let's start with our first word. First, we'll tap it out. Sip, sips. Then we'll write it so we can mark it up. Sips. We have to underline our base word. What's our base word? Yes, sip. And then we circle the suffix. Our word is sips, such as he sips his drink. Okay, good. On to the next one. Okay, here's our next word. Let's tap it out. Er-ock-s. Rocks. So we're going to write it up here. Now this one can be used in two ways, but today we're going to talk about it in the way that makes it the verb. So we underline the base word. We circle the suffix. Our word is rocks. And this is going to be such as she rocks on the chair. Rocks. Good. Okay, on to the next one. First job is to tap it out. Here we go. Rugs. Rugs. Right it here. Mark it up. We underline the base word. Circle the suffix. Now this one is not a verb. This one means more than one like we had before. Rugs. More than one rug. Okay, next one. Do you remember our first job? First job is to tap it out. Ends. Pens. So we write it here. Underline the base word. Circle the suffix. And it's more than one this time, not the verb. More than one pen. Pens. Your teacher has a lot of pens. Okay, next one. Tap it out first. We have, oh no, uh, that's the wrong one. We already did that one. Hold on. He's patiently waiting over here. Okay, here we go. Tap it out first. Shut. Shuts. So we'll write it down first. Underline the base word shut. Circle the suffix s. And it means he shuts the door right now. There he goes. He shuts the door. Great job. Thank you. Okay. And one more. We have this. Okay. Tap it out first. Hills. Hills. Let's write it up here. We're going to underline the base word hill. Circle this suffix, and this is more than one hill. Here's my picture, hills. Now let's go back to two of them and find some diagraphs. Let's look at the word rocks. Where do you see the diagraph? Good, I hope you said CK like in sock. And then one more down here in the word shuts. Did you find the diagraph here? Good, SH like in ship. Very good. Okay, so there you have it, adding S to verbs to make it known that you're doing it in the present, such as sips, rocks, and shuts. Thank you and have a great day.